What is up YouTube? The Plumber Stacker is back with yet another auction call. Plumber Stacker. As usual, the plumber has lots and lots to open, so let's get to it. This one, of course, is from the famous coin crew. Uh, as you all know, and I've explained in my other videos, I love their auctions, and I always buy in their auctions. So that's why I always have lots of packages from them. They do two auctions a week. You all should check it out. Plumber Stacker. This one I've, I went a little crazy with. Um, I don't have any of these. I'm sure you know what all what this is. PCGS VF30 1912 and that's a butte. Like I said, I've ah, I know I paid $142 for this coin. <laughs> and it's just one single coin, but the history behind it and the rarity of it in this condition I figured I would uh, enjoy having this in my stack and enjoy looking at it because I like it a lot and uh, it was pricey I'm not gonna lie so on to the next one I don't remember where this is from so you guys will be surprised right along with me plumber stacker see uh looks like i paid 40 bucks for this one and this is a 2008 bald eagle ms69 i don't have any of these but i do now and i have an ms69 too and at 40 bucks you know why not because it's another quality addition i believe to my stack it's a pretty cool looking eagle and god we trust one dollar united states of america number three i love opening these packages like this because i don't even remember some you know because I, I go to so many auctions i don't even know what, what's coming to me when it's coming it's great ah Actually, this is an eBay buy right here. 10 gram Geiger. And I told you guys in my last video how much I like these, so I'm gonna stack a few more of them before I call it quits on them. Might throw a few off in my auction, which uh, reminds me that I am doing a auction on a Saturday after the premiere train with the madman himself, Mr. Mad Stacker. Uh, it'll be at uh, noon Eastern time, I believe, right after the premiere train. Um, the premiere trains are really cool, and I'm actually going to do my first video on the premiere train, too. So you guys need to all check it out and then stay with me to, you know, hang out and um, buy some coins off me and Mad. And since uh, it's going to be a joint venture between Matt and I, I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and pay for all the shipping for everybody. So that's right, you guys will get free shipping during the auction. So you can't beat free shipping. So that means you can pay more for your coins and you don't have to pay for shipping. You can't beat that, come on. The plumber's giving out free shipping. Come on. And like I told you before, this is also another eBay buy. And look at these, man. I I have uh, a couple one ounce Geigers that are earning the uh, assay, I believe. That's how you say it. It's a one ounce Geiger. So, Kellen L, I hope you're watching this because I know you love these. And I do too, man. They're just, they're beautiful. Especially when they come in this case. Like I got I got the other ones that aren't in the case and I don't I didn't see the I didn't like them as much to be honest with you. So if anybody's open for a trade for those, just go ahead and throw me out an email. I'll be glad to trade. I got uh I think I got a one ten five and a uh one gram 
also a one ounce. Might even have two one ounces. But these things are neat. Really neat. And um, spoil alert, I will have some more coming. But it's a special one. Um, straight from Germany, actually. I ordered it from Germany, so it's probably going to take a month to get here. Two months, who knows. But here's another one from Coin Crew. But I think that I... Um, I don't know if this is from their auction or not. This might be... This might be from uh, just me ordering from them. Like I told you before in my videos, they uh, they have their own uh, coin store, which I think is really cool. And I call him from time to time to um, ask him his opinion before I buy certain coins. Um, and he's more than willing to offer up his advice. So take advantage of that, guys. He's, uh, he's a really cool guy. Cool guy to talk to as well. I mean, don't bombard them, but you know, if you got some serious questions or you want to buy some coins off of them, why not? And uh, these are from the uh, coin roll hunting. Um, you get like bag pulls, and, and so this is I got, I got a 1956 and 1960, and then I got some pennies, which um, I don't really collect pennies, so I'll probably just give those away to somebody. But here's a treasure. Actually, yep, it is an auction. So, 38 bucks for this one. What do we got here? Let Freedom Ring. Three ninths fine silver. That is neat. I like that one, huh? What do you guys think about that? 38 bucks is probably a little high just for a, a round. But again, when I see a coin that I like, it, I don't mind paying just a little bit more for it. I mean, obviously, spot price is about $25 at the moment, so that's a little bit more of a premium than you probably should pay for a generic, but who cares? Uh, look at that. So this one I did buy from him. I didn't, um, I didn't get the auction on this one, and that is nice. PCGS XF45, 1916. That is neat. And just imagine the history behind these coins, you know? 1916, like this was in people's pockets over 100 years ago. Just getting passed around like nothing. And, and here we are in 2020, paying outrageous amounts for, you know, a quarter. So, hey. Got myself a uh, Black Panther. I actually forgot I ordered this because I ordered a couple more. So anybody wants to trade on this one too, I'm open for that. And there she is again. Why is she on all these coins? <laughs> Whatever. One ounce, four nines fine, 2018 Panther. I'm hoping that this goes up a little bit of value because um, unfortunately he did pass away. Uh, the guy that, pay, that played the, the Black Panther. So, I mean, that sucks, but that's not why I bought it. Um, Plumber Stacker. $37 and I told you before that I like these pandas so there's another one pretty good condition too coin crew really does have some good condition coins that's a 2015 and you know it doesn't even say one gram or 30 gram on it not that I can see anyway. I think this is a, or not one gram or 30 gram. I meant to say uh, one ounce or 30 grams. I think this is a one ounce 2015, if I remember correctly. So here's another Morgan MS64. Now these you don't really see too often on auctions. A lot of people get these and they just put them right in their stack. Um, I bought this from him. I didn't uh, win this at an auction. I wanted to have uh, a couple more 64s. I know I showed you guys a couple beforehand. But those are from uh, NGC. And this one's a uh, PCGS. 1887 Morgan Dollar. I think these are so neat. Especially when you get them in good condition. You can see all the detail around it. The hair. The neckline. Everything's intact. Obviously wasn't circulated too much. But I just think it's really cool. And I got a 19 or 1880 MS63S. 
is the mint mark. And you know, between the 63 and the 64, you really can't tell too much unless you really get it under the scope. I'm doing a bad, bad job at showing you guys these coins. Um, the difference, because you can see, you know, the hair's still there, the jawline's good, the crown, whatever you want to call that. The wording's good. You can see all the stars. Just in really good condition. You know, let's put them up together. Here's a 64 and a 63. Can you guys tell? Well, I guess this, yeah, I guess you can, huh? Put them on this side with the light. Yeah, that 64 you could tell looks better, huh? Not a crazy amount though. I guess that's why it's only one grade, one grade bigger. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna look into getting a couple, couple um, 65s. So this envelope here is uh, from Sherry Ward and the Pizza Guy, and this is actually it might just be from Sherry. Um, this is my first sticker trade, which I think is pretty cool. She reached out to me to do a sticker trade, and it's my first one. So let's see. Look at that. It is from them both. That's pretty cool. Look at those stickers. I like that. Swampy Cooters. Silver Cooters. The Pizza Guy. The Pizza Guy. Let's see what we got here. And there's some of her stickers. That's neat. I like how the raccoon's holding that gold coin there. Wow. Good job on those stickers. I like that. Let's see here. Hello, Plumber Stacker. Thanks for doing a sticker trade with me. I've enjoyed your content and truly appreciate your generosity and kindness you have shown throughout the community. Thanks for all you do. Best wishes, Sherry Ward. Well, Sherry, you know, I haven't been in this community too long, and, uh, oh, man ripped the card and I just wanted to kind of show my appreciation you know like if ever I can help out I'm, I'm more than willing to help people out I did not expect you to send me some uh, any coins that's pretty cool thank you sorry for ripping your card so look at that a 1957 penny and a 1936 nickel Buffalo nickel. Oh, guess you guys could see them better if I showed them to you. Thank you, Sherry. That was very kind of you. And uh, thank you for doing being my first sticker trade. Sherry and the pizza guy. So what'd you think, guys and gals? I think I did pretty well on this one. Uh, there wasn't that many auction items. I took it easy this week for once, but I ordered a few things off eBay that I really wanted. And uh, I bought some things from, um, from Point Crew. Don't forget about our uh, auction on Saturday, free shipping courtesy of the Plumber Stacker. Mad Stacker and I will be in the Madhouse at noon Eastern time, right after the Premier Train. So come by and check us out. This is the Plumber Stacker. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the Plumber Stacker, where I show you my stack, but not my crack. Please like, share, and subscribe.